yeah. hi everyone today we are going to solve few mcqs which are very important in the examination point of view which are mostly asked questions most commonly asked questions uh, that is related to the respiratory alkalosis and acidosis okay i feel as we are dental students we are like we are not much concerned towards these concepts and topics but final thing is like we need to solve the question with greater accuracy because our time duration for each question will be in the range of 40 to 50 seconds so we need to solve these questions as fast as possible now i'm going to give few hints and techniques how you need to solve these mcqs so before going into the solving process uh, we'll have a good discussion about what is actually the present topic and what are the few things that you need to remember in this particular topic right so before going so the main the topic heading is like acid and base reaction right so this is the reaction that's going to take place in the blood and it's going to play a very vital role in altering the ph and bringing it back to the normal and acting as a buffer okay means buffering is nothing but a smoothening process okay in simple language so before <coughs> so the ph coming to the ph of the blood the normal ph of the blood as we know that is 7.35 to 7.45 so whenever there is an increasing in this value whenever there is increase in the ph value a simple this is called as an alkalosis whenever there is decreasing in the ph value it is known as an acidosis simple simple language okay so moving to the next step what you need to know regarding the normal blood gas values the few things that you need to remember so what values you need to remember coming to the values that you need to remember the blood values one is ph already discussed 7.35 to 7.45 next is bicarbonate ion concentration which is 22 to 26 milli equivalents per liter so the i feel like these are the two things that are much important for solving an mcq in the examination hall rather there are many other values that you can remember uh, and few among them are the apart from the bicarbonate value which is in the range of 22 to 26 you need to remember uh, <coughs> the h plus ion concentration that is 40 mole per liter so apart from these there are partial pressure of oxygen which is going to be 750 to 100 mm of hg and partial pressure of carbon dioxide which will be in the range of 35 to 45 mm of hg so these are the few values that you need to remember but according to me uh, these are the two values which are more important rather than the all okay so the next move is like what are the diagnosis we have four options in every question of this metabolic acidosis and alkalosis we have four options we are going to discuss these four options right now so one is acidosis and second one is alkalosis okay uh, so before going to this i want to give some good information okay this is very very uh, useful one so the basic thing that what is going to happen in the blood is like carbon dioxide which is present in the blood is going to react with the blood nothing but water in it so it's going to form h2co3 that is carbonic acid so which again going to dissociate into h plus ion which is hydrogen ion plus hco3 minus that is bicarbonate guys this this equation is very very important and i want to make it very simple okay very simple that uh, thing uh, imagine that this h plus is an acid and this bicarbonate as a base whenever there is increasing in the h plus ion means acid the ph is going to be decreased so these are inversely proportional whenever there is increasing in the base the ph is going to increase these are directly proportional this is a simple language so let's move to the acidosis and alkalosis if you go in detail acidosis is discussed whenever there is decreasing in the ph 
alkalosis whenever there is increasing in the pH. Again, it's going to be of two types. So one is metabolic and second one is respiratory. One is metabolic and second one is respiratory. Right? So always correlate these things with CO2. So if CO2 is involved, then it's going to be respiratory. Always compare CO2 with respiratory and bicarbonate with metabolic. Okay, so how to apply these concepts will be very clear if you solve few MCQs. So one more code, I love this code actually. So one more code behind this is M and D. So what is M and D actually? It's very simple. M and D, remember it. So M is nothing but metabolic and D is nothing but directly proportional so whenever there is two increments like pH and CO2 if these two increments are in the same direction so whenever there is increasing pH and whenever there is increasing the CO2 so it is directly proportional so it is directly proportional so it is metabolic so these values gives an information it is related to the metabolic right and there is increase in the pH so it is metabolic alkalosis clear so second value is like whenever there is decreasing in the pH value as well as decreasing in the CO2 again they are directly proportional so again it is metabolic and it's going to be decreased so it is acidosis this time clear so opposite okay whenever it is inversely proportional directly proportional it is metabolic whenever it is inversely proportional so <laughs> the inversely proportional is respiratory so whenever there is decreasing in the pH and increasing in the CO2 it is respiratory decrease means acidosis whenever there is increasing in the pH and decreasing in the CO2 it is again respiratory and it is alkalosis I told like always whenever there is respiratory remember the CO2 value it logically works here whenever there is increasing the CO2 value means more acid so there will be decreasing the pH so it works in a correct way whenever you consider respiratory related to the carbon dioxide I think I, I hope you guys are clear with these uh, values and uh, the concepts behind this okay so now we are going to solve few mcqs <coughs> related to this which are taken from the previous examinations coming to the first question the primary increase in the carbon dioxide in the body is seen in the case of whenever there is increasing in the carbon dioxide value i told there will be decreasing in the ph right so whenever this happen this happened logically carbon dioxide I told you guys to remember it as respiratory so increasing in the CO2 decreases the pH means pH is decreased so it is acidosis it can be any of these acidosis so it is related to the carbon dioxide it is called as a respiratory clear first question is solved coming to the second question these are the blood investigation gas values of an individual who is on ventilation and shows the values like decreasing in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide okay and normal O2 and the pH is 7.5 okay just note the pH is 7.5 it is alkalosis right so you can remove these options acidosis acidosis are removed so the answer can be either A or B and you need to identify whether this is related to the metabolic or whether it is related to the respiratory is the next task okay so uh, thing is like whenever pco2 values are decreased means acid is decreasing so the ph value has to increase and yes it is increased so definitely it is related to the carbon dioxide levels because the equation is balancing 
so it is respiratory again because it is related to the carbon dioxide value sorry this is co2 pco2 right so it is related to the carbon dioxide so <coughs> the answer is respiratory acidosis sorry respiratory alkalosis the answer is a so coming to the third question a female patient after an injury come to the casualty and her samples are like this clearly given the ph is decreasing so you can remove whenever the ph is decreasing the answer can be acidosis so you can remove the option a and option d clear so it can be either b or c and you have to identify whether it is related to the respiratory or whether it is related to the metabolic okay we will apply this uh, uh, md code here okay uh, or else you will di directly solve an easy way of solving whenever there is decreasing in the ph values right if it should be related to the respiratory carbon dioxide they have given if carbon dioxide values are increasing means acid is increasing so the ph should decrease here the ph is decreased and pc2 values are increased so it is related to the respiratory again so it is respiratory acidosis now clear so the next question again the samples gives 7.2 ph which is less than the normal means it is acidosis clear and uh, they uh, they gives an information that both the pco2 values decreases okay the pco2 value decreases as well as this decreases okay both the pc decreasing in the pco2 values and decreasing in the hco3 minus ion values clear so just just make it as very simple whenever there is decreasing in the pco2 values okay there is a small correction here the pco2 value is increased whereas the bicarbonate value is decreased okay it was not printed so whenever there is increasing in the pco2 value okay pco2 value is increased <laughs> so acid is increased so the ph should decrease so it is related to the respiratory so it is related to the respiratory clear and whenever there is decreasing in this bicarbonate value so whenever bicarbonate buffer is decreased so uh, reciprocately the reciprocatingly uh, the buffer is decreased so the acid ph value is going to be decreased because it's directly proportional decrease and decrease so the ph value is decreased so it is related to the metabolic also so decrease in the ph has diagnosed it as an acidosis both decreasing in the bicarbonate ion values and increasing in the pco2 values has made it respiratory as well as metabolic the answer is c so the next question <laughs> the next question is it, it's it's a different way uh, a different variety of question the question is they can add a word like this extra with with means it is how it is getting compensated or else they can ask what is the diagnosis or they can ask like how it is compensated for example if it is diagnosed as metabolic acidosis then it is it will be compensated in opposite way metabolic will be replaced by respiratory and acidosis will be replaced by alkalosis for example if it is respiratory acidosis then it is compensated by metabolic alkalosis okay i mean the options are wrong here if how it is compensated means a respiratory acidosis is compensated by metabolic alkalosis and a metabolic alkalosis is compensated by respiratory acidosis so it's going to be opposite the two words are going to be opposite or it's, it's going to be crisscross when they are asking about the compensation or well whenever they are asking about the diagnosis the diagnosis will be as diagnosis whenever they are asking about the compensation the compensation will be opposite to the two words here with means it is how it is compensated the meaning is so we'll go deep into the question analysis have gives an information 7.12 means it is acidosis so it can be acidosis 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 there is no elimination but logically by compensation acidosis cannot be compensated by acidosis so you can eliminate the option c so you can clearly eliminate the option c and acidosis cannot be compensated by acidosis you can eliminate the option d acidosis cannot be compensated by acidosis you can eliminate option b simple without going in detail into the questions by just analyzing a logical based 
of analyzing a question this is this is a, a typical way of analyzing a question by seeing just option you can just go through the options and you can come to an answer the answer is a for sure we'll solve it right now okay so it is it is it is definitely acidosis <coughs> so the pco2 values the pco2 values okay ignore the pco2 value here okay but take the consideration of bicarbonate value the normal bicarbonate what we have discussed is 22 to 26 and the bicarbonate value is less here so whenever the bicarbonate value is less and the ph is less means bicarbonate is less logically ph is less I already told like if they are in the same way definitely it is because of metabolic because i have told you in the beginning that if it is related to the carbon dioxide it will be respiratory if it is related to the metabolic bicarbonate ion it will be related to the metabolic so the answer is metabolic acidosis which will be compensated by opposite metabolic will be replaced by respiratory and acidosis will be replaced by alkalosis simple okay so the next last question as uh, investigations have given an information so uh, we'll solve we'll solve if there is any chance of eliminating the question just we'll close the question and we'll answer respiratory acidosis cannot be replaced by acidosis so the answer is not d you can eliminate it and uh, respiratory alkalosis can be replaced by metabolic acidosis yeah very fine very good it can be and uh, respiratory acidosis can be replaced by metabolic alkalosis and respiratory alkalosis so the better option is like giving information regarding the two uh, even this this is and this are same but this gives more information so you can eliminate this option definitely it can be also right answer but this is the best answer always we need to go for the best answer so it can be eliminated so this is eliminated this is eliminated and you are left over with two options so simple way is like 7.35 is the basic value and the value is less so it is acidosis so there is one acidosis option <coughs> no need to go deep into the question going with the values simple way c can be eliminated now so the answer is a for this question so how to solve now we are going to integer so 36 what is the value actually 22 to 25 is our value so <coughs> this is increased and the ph is decreased so actually if the bicarbonate value is increasing the ph should increase so it is not increasing so the equation does not fit for the metabolic so the equation is going to fit with the respiratory so the answer is respiratory acidosis which is going to be compensated with metabolic alkalosis okay i thank you i hope you enjoyed this this is all like uh, i just want to make things very simple i want this is the uh, this is the smart work uh, which makes or answers the things fast in the examination because in examination uh, the accuracy is important obviously but speed is going to play a very vital role means you need to make the stuff very simple very very simple in fact very easy because you need to answer each and every question in just 40 seconds or 45 seconds max so time management is going to play a very vital role i hope you had good time and thank you uh, please try to subscribe if you want further more updates related to the mds conquer bye take care